I wanna show you exactly how to free up space on your iPhone. So if you're running out of space on your iPhone, this is gonna be the exact step-by-step -step process of freeing up more storage. And I should mention this same process works on freeing space on iPad as well. And it works for pretty much every iPhone. It's been the same for a long time, and I'm sure it's gonna be the same in the near future. For step one, open the settings app on your iPhone, click your profile picture right on top, and then click iCloud first. Now this is what's on your iCloud, okay? So what we need to do first is we need to back up what's on our physical phone onto iCloud, just in case we delete something later, it's going to be backed up on iCloud. Now this is not required, but it's just a safe step to take. So what I recommend you do here is go to iCloud backup right here and make sure you press backup now. So as long as you press backup now and then you delete anything else in this process, you could always get it back from iCloud, which is not stored on this phone. Now, in some cases, your iCloud might be full too. So you could go ahead and manage the storage of your iCloud here, and you could change your storage plan. So if you need to upgrade, they have plans for as little as 99 cents. And you could also remove things from iCloud here to make storage on iCloud. I have a different iCloud video though. This is just for the physical phone. So make sure you do that as step one. Now for step two, let's free up storage on our iPhone. So let's go to settings here, but this time go down to the general section and click on iPhone storage. Now this is what's physically on this iPhone. iCloud is what's on the iCloud backup, which is kind of cloud storage, not physically on the, your device right now. If you look up here, it's gonna show you your total space. So the second number is your total space. The first number is the amount of space that is taken up right now by the things on your phone. And you may have some suggested options over here from Apple that I've already exited out of. Now, in most cases, as you look through all the different things that are taking up space, usually for most people, photo is number one and messages is number two. So in the second step, I wanna show you how to get rid of photos here from your physical phone and back them up in a way where they don't take up space. And that will give me back 45 gigabytes, which is a lot of space here. So how do we do that? Well, two options, we could use iCloud again. So let's go back to that menu. Again, from the settings menu, I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna go back to iCloud. And I wanna make sure over here where it says photos, I could go over here and make sure photos is turned on and backed up to iCloud. So then I could actually remove them from my phone. Another option you have is in the App Store and it's a pretty small app called Google Photos. So you could search for Google Photos. And with Google Photos, if you do have a little bit of space to download this app, this also lets you back up your photos to Google Photos as kind of a redundant option, right? iCloud Photos is one way to back up to the cloud. This is another way. So you could have two different versions and then you could take it off from your phone. Now, once you do that, you could open up your photos here. You could go ahead and select and select as many things here as you want to choose to delete and press the delete option on the bottom. And then go to albums, go all the way to the bottom to recently deleted. Make sure you delete them from here too, because it does keep it here as recently deleted and you could get rid of it and it will empty out storage right away. Now, let me show you option two. Let's go back to general here and let's go to iPhone storage. And then you wanna look at messages. So let's go to messages here. And typically photos and videos will take up a huge amount of space here, not text. So if you have photos and videos, you could go to those. It's gonna show every photo and video that was sent to you if you go to this menu and you could go ahead and press edit right on top. And then you could start selecting them here and then pressing delete and it will remove space from your phone and free up space on your iPhone. Now you could do the same thing if you see things with podcasts, for example. So I could go ahead and delete a lot of these things that are taking up space, like all these podcast episodes, you could go ahead and delete those. If you have things like podcast, you also may have Google Drive here. So you could go ahead and delete this app so it's not synced to your phone if you see that as an option. And the last thing I'll show you here is you could offload unused apps. So Call of Duty is taking up almost five gigabytes and I never actually used this app. So I could either delete the app or if I wanna keep my data, but just get rid of the app itself, that will save two and a half gigs. I could just press offload app. So offloading app is one of the best ways to get rid of apps you're not using without losing the data you have on those apps. If you're not gonna use this app at all, you might as well just delete this app, but I recommend offloading the app 
because it will save your gameplay, for example, and you could always reinstall it. And if you go through, you'll see lots of those types of apps that are taking up lots of space. And in some cases, you might have these iOS installs as well. So you could go ahead and delete these updates from your phone. And if you look up here, in some cases, there is something called other or system data that may be taking up a good amount of space here. In that case, I do have a different video for you that I'll link below. I hope this helps you free up space on your iPhone and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.